How to create automated emails within Aweber. Hi guys, it's Sam Day here from daytips.com, helping serious entrepreneurs like you to boost sales to your products and services online using simple but super effective online marketing tips and tricks. If you are a serious entrepreneur, then make sure you subscribe to this channel and click that bell notification button as well so you never miss a tip that could help you to boost your online earnings. So in this video, we're speaking all about email marketing and in particular, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up an automated email sequence within Aweber. Now, Aweber is a software that I personally use for my email marketing needs and it's a software that I highly recommend recommend that you use as well. It's super easy and intuitive to use. And if you are selling a product or offering a service or in any type of business and you want to generate leads and sales online, then you absolutely must be using some sort of email marketing software and Aweber is extremely affordable and really robust as well. Um, I've got a full Aweber tutorial and I'll leave a link to that in the description down below. But in this video, I wanna show you how to get those automated emails. So when someone opts into uh, one of your opt-in pages or if someone actually purchases a product from you, you can actually set them, put them on a list and you can schedule them to receive emails and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So as you can see, I'm actually on Aweber at the moment. And the very first thing you want to do is make sure you're in the right list. So my current list is weight loss tips list. Um, so you want to make sure you're actually, you actually select the list that you want to create the follow up series for. That's super important. Make sure you're not creating a follow up series for the wrong email list. Now, um, I'm going to be doing future videos on how to create lists and how to upload emails to Aweber and so on and so forth. Um, so those videos will come soon. Um, but you want to make sure that you're in the messages tab and then go down to follow up series. So this is how you create automated follow up series is within Aweber. So when someone opts in or when someone makes a purchase, they receive these emails automatically. So we're gonna set that up now. Um, if you go to create message, the drop down menu, you can actually uh, create an email message with the drag and drop email builder. You can create a plain text message or you can use the HTML editor. Now I have a video on how to use the HTML editor um, and I'll leave that video in the description down below just in case you want more designs than Aweber actually has available for you. Um, but I'm gonna use the drag and drop email template for the purposes of this video and it will take you to here where you can actually start creating your email. So I'm gonna put in here test email and you can see the prefix here as well. This is automatically here for you and it means that when you actually send this out to your email list, it will say hi, first name. So if they've given you a first name, then you can actually introduce yourself to your list subscribers by their name. And I always do this. I think it's a great addition to your email marketing. Um, and you can just put something like um, welcome because this will be the first email they receive to our newsletter. Please see attached gift as promised. So one thing that's important to remember is if this is an opt-in page that you're creating the follow-up series for, you may have promised something. So I speak a lot about lead generation and giving something of value for free in return for a name and an email address. And it's very good to do that in the very first email that they receive. So if some, if you if you're offering a free ebook or a free video or whatnot, you're going to want to make sure that they automatically receive that on the first email. And as you can see down here, you can add an attachment. So when you click on that button, um, it, it takes you to your desktop where you can actually find whatever it is that you want to attach and make sure it's included within your first automated email that someone gets. So when you finished with creating your email, you wanna click save and exit and it will automatically be in your draft. So you wanna click on send options and add to follow up series. And when you do that, it will give you a message saying follow up number one is the welcome message your subscribers will get immediately after signing up. So you wanna add this to your follow up series. And as you can see, just as it mentioned, this will be your email number one. 
Um, now I'm going to be showing you how you can kind of change this if you didn't want it to be your email number one. But let's go ahead and create another email. So let's say we wanted three emails. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing and create three different emails and add them to my follow up series. So I'm going to name this one uh, email two and I'm going to save and exit. And I'm going to add this to the follow up series. And as you can see, I can actually create an interval. So at the moment, my email one will be sent immediately as soon as someone opts in. And this one will be sent one day after the previous email. But if I want it, if I want my subscribers to receive this email automatically, let's say a week after they receive the first email, then all I have to do is change this to seven and they will receive this a week later. Um, I can also edit the send window as well. So if I want them to receive this on a specific day at a specific time, then I can kind of change that as well. Now, I normally just leave it as this because what this will do is it will send it to them at the exact same time that they opted in. So let's say, for example, I come across your website and I opt in at 7 p.m. on a Monday and the second email is seven days later, then I will receive that email, the second email on a Monday at 7 p.m. as well. Um, I tend to leave it like that because normally if someone's opting in at that time, it's probably because that's the time they're available and they're probably more likely to actually open your emails at that time as well. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, you can also track clicks on website links in messages. I highly recommend that you keep that on because that's really important data that you're going to be able to track who is actually opening your emails, how many, what percentage of people are opening your emails. And you can really use this to assess what emails are performing better than others and maybe tweaking the ones that are not getting as many clicks or as many opens, so on and so forth. Um, you can also select send messages based on each subscriber's local time. So that kind of is self-explanatory. If you wanted to send it based on uh, their local time, then you can. You can also apply these uh, these days and times to all messages in this list if you wanted to. Um, and then when you finished with all of those settings, literally just click add to follow up and it will add it to your follow up series. Now I'm going to add one more email to this series. So I've named this email free, but another thing that I wanted to point out is the fact that you can actually preview and test. Now, this is something that I highly recommend that you do when you're creating your emails is click the preview and test button. And this allows you to send a test email to your own email account. So you can choose what email account you actually want to send that test to. So you can proofread your email and see how it actually looks in email format before you add it to your follow-up series or before you send that particular email to your list. Um, but essentially, I'm adding my email free and I'm going to add that to my follow-up series. And maybe I want this to be sent again seven days after they receive their last email. So my the people who come onto this list will receive one email a week or one automated email a week. And as you can see, I've got my free emails here. These emails will automatically send to my subscribers in Aweber. And if I change my mind and I want email free to be second, all I have to do is click on this little toggle button and drag it on top of it. And as you can see now, email, email free is now number two and email two is now number three. Um, at any time as well, I can send a test email. I can delete this email. I can copy this to my drafts. And that might be something important to do as well. Maybe you want to change your entire email follow up series, but you don't want to delete it. You can copy it to your drafts. So you have a copy on your drafts and then you can kind of delete it from your follow up series. You can also um, change your settings as well. If you go into settings and you can edit your settings here. So your window in terms of how many days after this, the person will receive this particular email. Um, and you can also check your spam score as well uh, to see how many of your emails are ending up in spam and how many are ended up in inboxes. Obviously, you want to end up in inboxes, not in spam. Um, now, I will leave a link to Aweber in the description down below. Uh, make sure you go and click that link. That should give you a free trial of Aweber if you're not using it already. I highly recommend going and testing Aweber out. It's an amazing tool. I personally use it and highly recommend it. Now, that will be my affiliate link as well. Um, that just helps support the channel out. It doesn't cost you any more. So I really appreciate it when you do use my affiliate links. Um, and I do have 
have more videos on Aweber and email marketing and I'll leave links to those videos in the description down below. So make sure you do go and check those out if you're really trying to boost sales online via email marketing. But I do hope that this video helped you out. I also have the formula which is behind me. Um, I'll also leave a link to it somewhere on this screen as well and in the description down below. That's the formula to generate in leads and sales to your business. Um, it's going to teach you some of the fundamentals to drive in traffic, converting that traffic into leads and into tangible sales for your business. So make sure you go and grab yourself a copy if you have not already. But I really do hope that this video brought you value and if it did then please click the like button down below and make sure you share this video with a friend if you have any additional questions or comments then leave them for me in the comment section but until next time watch some of my other great videos make sure you subscribe to this channel for more awesome business related content have a great day make sure you download the formula and i will see you soon